and welcome to Morning Prayer this Wednesday, November 24th. Morning Prayer begins on page 75 of the Book of Common Prayer, or you are welcome to follow along online by clicking on the link to the PDF in the description of this video. I'm going to give us all a few moments to ease into God's presence in our midst and to shift our gaze to God. Send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We'll continue with the Vanity on page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is a portion of Psalm 119, verses 145 through 176. And it can be found on page 775. I will call with my whole heart. Answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, O oh, that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches, that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. According to your judgments, give me life. They draw near who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Behold my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. According to your promise, give me life. Deliverance is far from the wicked, for they do not study your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your judgments. There are many who persecute and oppress me, yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I look with loathing at the faithless, for they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments. O Lord, in your mercy, preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forevermore. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as glad because of your promise as one who finds great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. 
Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they who love your law. For them there is no stumbling block. I have hoped for your salvation, O Lord, and I have fulfilled your commandments. I have kept your decrees, and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live and I will praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Obadiah. The day of the Lord is near against all the nations. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Your deeds shall return on your own head. For as you have drunk on my holy mountain, all the nations around you shall drink. They shall drink and gulp down, and shall be as though they had never been. But on Mount Zion there shall be those that escape, and it shall be holy. And the house of Jacob shall take possession of all those who dispossessed them. The house of Jacob shall be a fire, the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau stubble. They shall burn them and consume them, and there shall be no survivor of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. Those of the Negev shall possess Mount Esau, and those of the Cephalah, the land of the Philistines, they shall possess the land of Ephraim and the land of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. The exiles of the Israelites who are in Halah shall possess Phoenicia as far as Zarephath, and the exiles of Jerusalem who are in Sepharad shall possess the towns of the Negev. <clears throat> Those who have been saved shall go up to Mount Zion to rule Mount Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Here ends the reading. We will continue with Canticle 10, no, 11, on page 87. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For, behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open, by day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of Peter. Rid yourselves of all malice and all guile, insincerity, envy, and all slander. Like newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, 
to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture, See, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe, he is precious, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner, and a stone that makes them stumble and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word, as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Here ends the reading. We will continue with Canticle 16 on page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Continuing with the Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings and Lord of lords, 
mercifully grant that the peoples of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. In the next few moments of silence, I invite your own prayers and thanksgivings. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you all for joining us this morning. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow, um, and we look forward to seeing you back here on Friday. Bye, friends. Sorry, I'm still not sure about that.